The hardest part about building LLM-based applications isn't the model, it's the context. In reality, models like Cloud GPT or Gemini are all super similar. It really depends on how you give proper context and information or your knowledge or your company's knowledge to the model. And this comes down to three things. First, the data that you give, so your inputs. Second, the actual inputs, the prompts, the instructions. And third, the quality of the outputs, both the generation and the retrieval that you do from your database. And you need to evaluate and maintain all these three aspects. For example, when we had to build a color palette creator, we didn't know at all which color fit with which. I'm really bad at design, and so we had to hire multiple professional designers to help us evaluate the tool, our data set, and our results. We even had to adapt our judge to fit their style. And we used multiple designers because we didn't want to fine tune to one designer only and one particular taste. We wanted some kind of general, good-looking color palette generator. So we put in the work and hired professionals to help us build a very good database and help us evaluate the system as a whole. Also, for LLMs specifically, it has a limited token context window. If you send too much, it adds noise and might not be able to answer properly from the data you gave. If you give too little, obviously, it might rely on what it knows personally and it may lead to hallucinations. So you really need to find a real balance, build a very powerful pipeline that will give the model just enough of the right data to answer the question and evaluate this process. Stop wasting time trying one model and the other. Just build the sustainable right pipeline from the start and most importantly, build an evaluation pipeline to know if you are progressing or not. Remember, the model is just a tool, a tool that turns the context and your data into useful and relevant answers.